Hello, and welcome back to another episode of SMB3 Warpless Seminar. Today will be a little bit less stressful for you guys as we are working on World 2 Level 3. A couple cool things, but nothing too difficult. Let's jump right in. Like most levels, we will be starting with holding B and forward, and we'll be running until we see the three horizontal brown blocks. Using a small jump, we can get on top of them, and on the last block, do a medium slash big jump to get on top of the second last orange pyramid block. Run close to the end of the orange blocks, but not quite to the end, and execute a full big jump. You know if you lined it up correctly if you went right in between the two clouds. This should line you up on the second row of orange blocks on the next pyramid. From this point, just keep running till you reach the end and jump on the three horizontal brown blocks, lining yourself up on the last block to do a full big jump. This time, when you do your full big jump, keep holding A. This is so you bounce off the bouncy block to do your next medium slash big jump. You'll time yourself letting go of A as soon as you make it over the cloud that's below you. This next part is awesome, because once you land on that single tile block, there are about five different things you can do. Let's go through them quick. Number one, you can clip and accidentally kill the turtles, making it so you can't beat the level. Number two, you can do a small jump and run off the top step. Number three, you can do a medium jump and then hold A again to bounce off the middle step. Number four, you can do a medium slash big jump to do the same thing on the bottom step that you did for the middle step. Lastly, if you're super lazy, just run off the block and rebuild P-Speed and side jump into the last step. This method is slower though. I always use the middle block as seen in the official level video. Because if I overshoot it, I'm safe. And if I undershoot it, I'm still safe. I would recommend using the middle block. When you bounce off the middle block, don't hold back. Do a full big jump and land on top of the pyramid. Run into the hole and hold to the left and land on the turtle. You'll bounce once, but let go of left to stay put. You'll hit the shell one more time to the left, killing the other turtle and starting the block smashing sequence. As soon as that happens, jump back up to be safe and wait for the right time to go back down. When the shell has bounced off the orange block a second time, then you can go back down and wait on the line between the two blocks beneath you. Once you are positioned, hold down to give you more headroom to jump. Let the shell break the last block you're standing on, and while it's on its way back, hold to the left a little bit and jump over it. But jump high enough so when the shell starts to come back, you can land on it quickly. Reland on it again to shoot it back to the right. Once you have shot it back to the right, stand on the right side of the left block directly over the pipe and hold down the whole time. Here is the amount of room you have to enter the pipe. If half of Mario's body is anything outside these lines, you won't enter. When the shell breaks the block, you'll go right into the pipe. Don't worry, you're safe to hold down the whole time. I'll play it in slow-mo so you get a better idea of how it's done. This can be really tricky at first, but you'll get it. The end is just jumping out of the pipe and holding forward and B building P-Speed to hit the card. Always double check what end level card you have to make sure you don't get three of the same. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching episode 10. I hope you learned a lot. If you like what you saw, make sure to give me a thumbs up and tap that subscribe button to know when episode 11 comes out. We will be doing the angry sun level. Thanks all. See ya.